Good evening everyone, this is George from Your Local Musician and today we're getting stuck into another quick tip tutorial on creating track stacks in Logic Pro X and we're going to cover, there's two different types of track stacks so we're going to cover both of those, um, how, you, how you would use them and most importantly why you would use them. So the first thing that you want to do is, mine will pre-select it here, let's just get out of that so why you would use track stacks is for instance if you've got multiple tracks doing exactly the same thing so if you look here we've got a lot of bases um which add up to six yeah six bases in total i know it's a lot it's a very bassy track but um if you listen to it you you you'll probably understand why uh so right getting stuck into the track stack first thing that you want to do is hit command and then click each track that you want to include in the track stack so if we go down here if we come down a bit hit command again click that one and that one so to actually create it we want to left click and hit create track stacks so there's two different types one that's called a folder stack and in this little drop down here it gives a, a little detailed description of what a folder stack is so a folder stack is a basic track stack that lets you mute solo and control volume from the main track select this option to organize tracks so if you want to just be super organized and uh, you, you don't want to automate or control anything it, EQ loads of different tracks from from one track uh, but if you do want to do that that's what a summing track is for so a summing track is a multi-purpose track stack that mixes its subtracks and can be saved as a patch this can also bloody bloody blah, blah, blah playback tracks or remote control recordings audio subtracts so it's a really great way of creating submixes and um, this is just this is all sub uh, track stacks are just uh, a really really easy way of creating uh, group tracks so if we create that so this is a summing track so when we hit that we've got this option that pops up here which is a sum track think of this as a, as a master track for your track stack I'm saying track stack a lot but you know um, so now let's say for instance I've got all these bases and I want to EQ them all at once I can you know, roll a bit off probably hear the difference so let's take it a step further and um, use the filter So uh, yeah, let's stop that. Let's get click down there. Let's go over to waves and let's get the the one knob filter. If we can just find it. There it is. If you don't have the one knob filter, I recommend you really get it. I I've got it. It's um by Waves. I think they do it in the silver and the gold collection. I think even the the one that's down below the the silver that they, they do it in. But it's really good. As you can see, it's just one knob. Nice and easy. So what we want to do is we can actually automate all those tracks at once. So if we go up to one knob filter and go filter. So here's our bit of automation right here. So let's let that play out.
to hear those frequencies filtering off. Yeah, so that's sort of the basic uh, thing of using of using track stacks. You can get a lot more involved in it. Uh, you can do a hell of a lot more uh, compress uh, compressors, um, anything to your wildest imagination. But say, for instance, you uh, want to bypass, not bypass, sorry, if you want to remove all of that to so get rid of the track stack, Maybe a little bit confusing if you if you've not, for instance, watched a tutorial on it. Um, but all you do is left click again, and under the create track stack, there's an option that says flatten track, and that will just basically revert that. Let's just come out of automation. Sorry. So yeah, it's a really great way. To, uh, it's a really great little workflow tip. I personally um, actually haven't been using it long. Uh, I really wish I had um, done it a long, long time ago and started using it a long time ago. But it's a great thing. I, I like to group tracks together a lot more now, and um, it, it makes uh, editing and, and mixing a lot more simple rather than doing, you know, EQ in different parts uh, on different tracks, and they're just doing the the same thing over and over again. So if you if you're a fan of um, layering up different sounds and you want to have them you, you want them all to have the same mix that's um, probably the greatest way to do it hooray for logic because they've made it really really easy in this tense so that's all for now thank you